hello world. Um, before I start, I want to um, acknowledge to you that uh, I'm not religious and I'm not against any religion, I'm not against anything or anybody. I just, I do hold like higher knowledge and truth of this world and I feel like in my heart I got to share this even locally. This is going on my YouTube channel as well as my Facebook and um, I want to expose to you the truth because I am selfless, I have nothing to hide. So, um, with that being said, uh, let me allow, well, first of all, I love all of you and I hope you're all having a great day, morning, um, whenever you watch this. And um, always keep your eyes open and observe things. Don't, don't let anything, you know, negative ever get to you. And uh, I think uh, we're surrounded by that and it's like, you know, inevitable to not go through anything negative or something that'll change you or control you and I feel like it's I know for sure it's around us all and you know we give into it so easily and we're so easily uh, deceived by the world and the things around us whether it be drugs media you know what's on television your food um, anything that messes with the psyche um, we are natural beings we are not monkeys evolution isn't um, we're not from, we're not from monkeys. It makes me laugh that people still believe in that theory. I don't know where that, why well, Darwin never ever thought of that. It's because animals and stuff, but I guess, you know, um, to the core, we are reptilian. That's it. Um, our core brand is reptilian. And, uh, that's what people do not know about. Uh, so... I'm going to pan the camera. I guess I can't do that. Alright. I thought I could like switch it over to the other camera on the back of my phone, but I guess I can't do that. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and hopefully you can see this. Um, this is what we live on. The earth is uh, flat. And you can, you know, everything that in nature is made of the golden ratio, if you ever heard of that, uh, like the Fibonacci sequence. And the sun... You see it right there, that's Jesus. It's actually the Son, you know, the Son of God. Uh, um, it's the collective consciousness, and that is basically what we all are. We are the Son to the Sun, and that's where the light, you know, let your soul shine. That's where it comes from. Let your soul shine because the Sun is conscious, it sees you for the way you see it. You shine to the Sun, the Sun shines to you. That's Jesus, that's the Sun. And every year we celebrate Christmas, and if you see, let me lay this down here. Uh, trying to get this going pretty good. I guess I can't do it like that. Well, if you can see, it spirals in and out each year, and the North Pole is in the center. That's the cross Jesus dies on every year. Jesus was actually the sun this whole time in the sky. Um, he's our Savior, right? He, that's why there's life on Earth, is because of the sun. We worship the sun. Um... And south is the outer edge of the disc. It's like a CD. And east and west is just an illusion. It goes, you know, round. And it creates this illusion that we're on a ball floating through space, which is ridiculous. Uh, we're not a ball floating on sp through space. We are on a flat earth disc. We are the center of the universe. And um, as you can see, Antarctica is basically the outer edge. It's like the ice wall. And that's what holds, like, the water in, like, a bowl. So there's kind of, like... A flat earth dish that you know geography or if you look at the geography of it you know there's mountains and stuff and all the mountains and um, plateaus and stuff you see are um, were actually giant silica trees that were cut down that's why mountains and plateaus that are just flat and you can tell they look like a tree stump if you look at it in that way and the tree of life was once in the middle of the earth right there X marks the spot right all compasses point towards the north compass if you can see a road down up here, come pass, compass, come pass. I'm not sure if, that's probably like read backwards right now. I'm not sure if that's even like readable. But everything is actually backwards, so I guess that's kind of cool. Um, I guess I'll put it over here now that you can see that. So if you think about it, the earth spirals in, <clears throat> the, the sun, the sun spirals in and out. If you think about it, when this, during the summer solstice time, like, it takes longer for the earth or the sun to spin around the earth and bring light to the earth 
so we have longer day longer days and now we're in the winter solstice to where the sun has less um, rotation around the center of the earth so we have shorter days because it takes less time for the sun to spiral, spiral around and the sun only shines on one side so that's why you know if you you know there's a lot of people going to try to debunk this but it's a lot or earth is basically a self-sustaining battery and um we've been deceived to think that we will you know science is what we should believe in you know everything scientific is uh what is reasoned with and you know the word science actually comes from uh many or two different um, <clears throat> excuse me science actually comes from uh like uh science which is intelligent and also that science comes from the word sendir which is to cut and divide they wanted to cut off our brain um if you study it more you, if you study this more you'll find out for yourself that you know I mean, there's proof out there. I mean, I don't have the sources just right off the spot. I'm just trying to let you know and be aware and let you decide for yourself if you want to research this or not because this is the truth, whether you like it or not. It's not about what you believe. It's not about what you want. That's definitely not the case. It's about what you intend to do about it. And there's all these different religions, and I see every religion literally are the same thing, whether it's Christianity, uh it just, you know, Luciferianism, Satanism, everything is the same. They all worship the same God, which is Satan. Satan is the God of this world. We are in hell because we have Helios above our head. We say, uh, how's your hell? Uh, do you need any help? You know, everything's hell. We are in hell because we aren't supposed to be here. We're physical. We can feel pain, and we are reincarnated um, over and over again until we get, you know, our life mission and what we're supposed to do here. You know, it's not to come here and make money and have all the fortune and fame and then just die and do it all over again what's the point of that where are we going with that we're going against god actually because we have made this technology that's going against mother nature we're cutting down the trees and making more cities and stuff we're literally defiling ourselves spiritually and becoming more robotic and that's what the aliens are aliens are the aliens are these demons which are archons they're called archons and they leech and feed off your negative energy. That's the food they eat. They don't. They don't like. How do you say it? They don't like. Um, basically, necessarily come to you without you allowing that. But you allow that. And when you're born, notice how when you're born, your baby's born. They take the footprint of your baby, right? And the, they take a sample of the baby's blood and they send it to the Vatican. Is what they do. And if you ever think about the footprint, why do they take the footprint? Well, if you think about your shoe, what's at the bottom of your shoe? What's that called? Your soul. They're taking your soul and they're putting a spell on you to where you can't see anything. And there's a way to you know reverse all that and to get your higher self back. But you just got to know what to do and what words to use. Because every word you speak is actually a magic spell. We are not supposed to be speaking tongues and vibrations. We're supposed to be tel tel telepathic and... Um, if you can see down here, I don't think it'll let me, I, I should have just 